boys what is up welcome into another video today we're back playing some more standard baby playing some more standard and today we got a pretty sweet deck a deck that's been kind of uh kind of coming up on the scene right now in atraxa red white reanimator with obviously the brand new atraxa grand unifier this card's been all over the place people have been trying to put this card in any deck they could possibly put it in because it is a sweet one yeah Atraxa's is pretty sweet this deck is pretty awesome i haven't played any games with it quite yet but i am ready to jam some games we're going to be jamming best of one so don't worry about the sideboard but in case you're wondering about the sideboard it's right here i'm sure it's fine in best of three but we're just playing best of one today to to see what this deck is all about and yeah just going over the deck pretty quickly it's pretty much the same boros reanimator deck we've been seeing for a while right invoke justice big score fable the mirror breaker easy ways to take over games and obviously you want to finish with one of your big top end spells like sanctuary warden obviously the new attracts the grand unifier and we're playing four portal new phyrexia this is by far your best big drop being able to sweep your opponent's board and also be able to get some of the other creatures you discarded throughout the game is pretty awesome and yeah that's about it for the deck pretty much the same as it's always been but you guys know what time it is Drop a like, subscribe. It's a brand new year. It's a brand new vibe. You know what it is. Dominate your day, boys. And drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss any more fire content. Let's get into games, baby. Let's go. All right, boys. Welcome in. That's right. We're back playing some uh, some Boros Reanimator, man. Playing some Boros Reanimator in this hand is a doozy. But yeah, man. This deck's been pretty sweet. Uh, I've been watching a lot of people play it, actually, on like Twitch and stuff, and they've been kind of dominating standard right now with this and best of one so we'll see if we run into any other uh any other players with the same idea um but the deck is super powerful i mean especially in best of one when you have the hand smoother and you have you know you have a little bit of a better i guess like i don't really know what the word is here but the you have a better percentage to hit your combo earlier uh this deck is pretty awesome so venerated rot priest all right Toxic 1, whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell, target opponent gets a poison counter. Alright, that seems pretty good. Well, I mean, we're just going to braid this. Probably should do this now so they can't... I'm not really sure what they're playing. They could have, like, a pump spell or something. Guess I'll just get this uh, get this value while I can. Kill that, and then obviously we're probably just going to go Fable into, uh, hopefully, and Invoke Justice on turn 4. Which is kind of the dream. Ooh, Double Strike Toxic 1. Yikes. What is the play here? Do we play Fable or do we just go Abraid? I mean, Fable is like win the game next turn. This can't kill us because it doesn't have Infect. If this had Infect, I'd be a little bit more scared of this. Green, white, Toxic, huh? Very interesting. All right, I'm just going to go Fable here. I'm going to go Fable. I'm going to kind of go for the glory because if we can land a portal to New Phyrex, not, not to New Phyrexia, but portal to Phyrexia next turn, we're in a pretty good spot. Whoa, bro. Crawling Chorus. Whenever Slaughter Stinger, whenever creature you control with toxic attacks, it gets plus one. It's toxic two. Wow. All right, well, yep, just taking this. Nice. We hit the land. Discard Portal and Sanctuary Warden. <laughs> and I'm sure our opponent knows exactly what's coming. Let's attack for two here. See if our opponent has the uh, the stones to block with their 2-2. Probably not. Yeah. No reason there. All right. Invoke justice. My portal. Put four counters on my 2-2. Bada boom, bada bing. This is the dream. I mean, this is this, uh, the actual literal dream. Turn three fable. Turn four invoke. Smell you later. <laughs> One, one. Toxic one, okay. Wow, they besieged? That's pretty good. Not that good, but it's okay. All right, get a planes here. Get a planes. And I mean, that's also another big factor of this deck is that we have Fable for when, you know, the combo does go awry or one of your creatures go awry is that you can really just win the game with Fable. Fable is just that good, baby. All right, well, serve you for six here. Just play a pass and uh, pass back. Hold up a braid here in case something goes awry. They have a one-one. Yep, and that's easy game, easy money. Got the portal into play on turn four. This deck is uh, pretty fucking sweet, man. Pretty sweet. Let's go into the next game, baby. Let's go. All right, boys. Welcome back. Game number two. Yes, sir. 
Um, man, this hand is slow on the draw, I'll tell you what. I think we got a mulligan this. It's on the draw and best of one. Yeah, I got a mulligan that. Alright, definitely worse, but at least we have Fable and we have the combo rolled up. So, I'll keep this. Repair and Recharge is definitely worse than Invoke, but... You know, it's kind of like your, uh, your fifth and sixth copies. So, it makes the cut. Scrapwork Mud is a uh, fantastic draw here. Dare I say, gas. Right, Mutt, dump the portal here. Our opponent could be on the same deck. They have Jetmere's Garden in their deck. Ooh, it's looking like it. Rafine's Informant. Oh yeah, they're on the same, they got the same build. <laughs> Thankfully we're on the play here. Being on the play is massive in this one. All right, let's jam for two. Jam for two, probably won't block. They're playing the Behold the Multiverse version though, which might be, might be a little bit better than what we got going on, just because it goes a little bit more over the top than we do. Ours is a little bit more mid-rangey. We kind of find different ways to uh, to win different games and different scenarios, but theirs is just cast the biggest thing possible every turn. All right, Fable, sure. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna discard the Sanctuary Warden. The question is, what else do we discard? Really need to find a land here. Um, Cause next turn they got, they got one with the multiverse coming. Yeah, let's discard a Fable here. I don't think we need three. Man, no land is brutal here, bro. Dang, that sucks. No land is, dare I say, catastrophic here. <laughs> Dang, the vibes are at an all-time low. If we were just able to go repair recharge there, this game would have been pretty, I, I think, a pretty easy one. But now it's looking pretty interesting. Um, hmm. I mean, we definitely have to kill this 2-2 here because they're just going to go um, invoke justice most likely next turn. So I think I'm just going to attack and see what they do. I don't think they're going to block here, but you never know. People are crazy. Yep, so they're going to go block here. I'm going to go a braid and scrap work mud, I guess. I'm just going to lead with mud and see what we find. Let's got a big score here. Ooh, there's a Traxa. Alright, a braid on their 2 2 and pass. Yeah, Traxa also seems pretty good in these kind of matchups where we're both just putting giant things into play. Like, a Traxa drawing three or four cards each turn seems pretty sick. Seems pretty good. Discard two to populates. Wow. I wonder how they found slots for uh, to populate in their deck. Yikes. Three Jetmere's Gardens. Hate to see that. Attacking me for three here. This is a pretty decent trade for me. They are at a lower life total than me. I'll trade here. I think that's a favorable trade for me. Oh, temporary lockdown. Sure. Now my trade looks even better. Alright, found the land here. Obviously, we're not able to go repair recharge, though, unfortunately. But, I mean, at least we do get to go Fable here. And we have Reflection and Kiki Jiki in play as well. Alright, Planes Pass. So they're playing like a way more controllier version with Depopulates and Temporary Lockdowns. Yep, there it is. Repair Recharge. Ooh! <laughs> Into a portal in Uphorexia. Yikes. And I brick on my land, unless I find one right here. All right, so let's think about what we're discarding here, right? Because they obviously have a portal in play. This game just got turned upside down. Um, I mean, we have to discard something here because we have to find a land. If we don't play something this turn, we're probably dead. I mean, I have to assume it's portal, right? Yeah, because if I don't go portal, they're just going to get to go Kiki Jiki, my, uh, my Sanctuary Warden, and that's pretty bad news. I could just discard this one Sanctuary Warden. No, I have to do both. Well, they're just going to get it back with Portal, man. Dang. We're in a real pickle here. Yeah, I'll discard both. What the hey? All right, let's repair back our Portal.
They're gonna portal my Atraxa. Yep. Maybe I shouldn't have discarded the Atraxa. I was thinking about not discarding it. Yeah, I just had to hit that land. Yeah, it was probably just one of those scenarios where, like, I have to keep the Atraxa in my hand just because, like, I could probably beat a Sanctuary Warden, but I can't beat an Atraxa. But who knows? I mean, they already had one with the Multiverse in their deck, which already is a pretty big advantage over mine, I think, so. Well, I mean... On the bright side, uh, you know, Boros Reanimator is going to be 100% on the video, just, uh, <laughs> just not in my hands. Not all the games in my hands, that is. This version looks pretty sweet, though. I mean, Temporary Lockdown and Depopulate seem like you can really stretch games long and get into this kind of scenario where you're bringing back Atraxas, you know, drawing four or five cards, and really taking over a game. I like this build a lot, actually. Ours is a little bit, like I said, it was a little bit more mid rangey a little bit more uh, long-term, if you will. All right, well, I'll pick up a Sanctuary Warden here. Draw a card, we find a land. Invoke Justice. All right, we got ourselves a little bit of a game here. A little bit of a game, baby. Um, I mean, I guess we just invoke back the Sanctuary Warden, right? Could we get, I could get back Fable. It's not bad. I think I'm just gonna go Warden here. Yeah, I gotta go Warden because that's the biggest thing in my graveyard. So this is an 11-11. It doesn't really matter how big we make our things. I think I'm gonna put one here. We'll just go like two, one. And I'll go ahead and remove. If this gets four counters next turn from this, it's a 14. We have 13. Yeah, it doesn't really matter in that regard. They're going to gain a bunch of life here. We just got to kind of be able to take over the game. Um, I guess look at the plus one counter on this, right? Another invoke. Yeah, this is a spicy game. <laughs> well, they're going to be able to just, uh, just start casting stuff with one of the multiverse off the top of their deck, which kind of stinks. Yeah. Well, I mean, this one kind of just comes down to, you know, who gets the portal first. I mean, like I said, you know, we missed a land drop, didn't get our portal into play first, and uh, pretty much all history from there, man. Pretty much all history from there. But yeah, man, a lot of you guys have been asking me, you know, why am I playing standard? Why am I not uh, trying out some other stuff? Uh, the reality is, you know, this deck looks sweet. Thought I'd uh, throw it up there and, uh, yeah, man, hasn't been disappointed. I think standard uh, overall is okay right now. I don't think it's horrible. Um, I think one of the main problems with standard right now is that Wizards just like, you know, Watsy just like is not putting out enough... Uh, you know, support for standard. I mean, you know, it's not the player's fault. You know, they're just playing what's uh, what's popular right now. It is what it is, man. That's what I say. Standard will have its day again. It's just not going to be for a while, I don't think. They got to, like, make it into the PTQs and, like, standard metagame challenges and stuff like that. Can't just, uh, just have people choose to play the format because they're just going to play, like, modern or, you know, any other format over it most of the time. If our opponent loses this game, this is an all-time punt. This is an all-time loss if our opponent loses this game. They didn't attack with the Atraxa. It's literally just a free attack, right? I guess it's not free because it's to die. Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> All right, well, Rafine's Informant. Well, there's, there is a portal. That is a portal, and we can actually stack portals. All right. We're cooking, boys. Hey, yo, let them cook. <laughs> I love those memes. Hey, yo, let them cook. Mm, do I want to copy this first? Is there anything I could find that... I'm actually going to look at my deck real quick here. If I find... Not really, right? There's nothing really I could find. Yeah. All right, portal it up.
Where do I want to put these counters? Uh, let's go like one, 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 two. Boom. Two portals is a spicy meatball. <laughs> that is a spicy, spicy boy. All right. Um, could get back my mutt here just so they can't cast anything. Yeah, that seems fine. Or just so they can't get anything from my graveyard. All right, planes. I'm not gonna go ahead and make one of these an attack. I'm actually just gonna do it at the end of their turn. Uh, so I'll go no attacks here, end of turn. This is gonna die and get exiled. We'll just pass. And then I think we're just gonna go like Sanctuary Warden, Sanctuary Warden. I'm looking for ways to uh, kill this Atraxa and there are pretty much zero. <laughs> pretty much zero in my deck. So we're just gonna have to kind of grind through this Atraxa somehow. Which, like I was saying, is a pretty uh, pretty all-time task here. I think we got to look for our own Atraxa. This could be a game that goes to decking, actually, as well. Just because of how like we're just standoffy right now. There are less cards than me, though. There are ten less cards than me right now. Bro, no way. <laughs> <laughs> no way they're playing Tyranax Rex in their deck, right? Zero chance. All right. That's pretty spicy. I dig that. Bro, what? <laughs> yeah, yo. They're playing Angel Fire Ignition? All right. Our opponent's deck is pretty sweet. I'll, I'll tip my cap when I... I'll tip my cap for sure. Yep. This gets trampled too, right? Jeez, bro. Tyranax Rex, really? How do you fit this card in your deck? <laughs> like, what are they cut? They're just obviously not playing Sanctuary Warden, right? I mean, this stuff already had haste anyway. I don't know. I think they missed the opportunity to uh, to copy their Tyranax Rex. Mm-mm, shame. All right, so these both have an Destructible. Um, man, what's the play here? Yikes. All right, well, it's probably just copied in Sanctuary Warden. Probably starts with that. Remove a counter here, draw a card. Okay, Traxa. Not bad. I'm actually going to set a stop on my upkeep here. Uh, I think I'm going to use the shield counters here to save some life. I mean, obviously, we kind of have to. So let's go, like, boom, boom here. And yes, I know these are going to die. I understand. Um, but I think my my life total is probably pretty important here. And we'll just go like eight here and lose the shield counters. I'm fine losing some shield counters to save some life here. Especially in this kind of game. Do 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 do. Okay. So, upkeep here on my turn. Upkeep, we have two portal triggers. Why didn't it let me respond to this? Oh, I should have gone full control. I'm a, I'm a sucker. That sucks, because I was going to discard this Atraxa. I really thought it ran... I mean, I set the stop. I guess I had to go full control on my upkeep. Whatever. Whatever. The arena client strikes again. What else is new? The arena client strikes again. All right, um, it's gonna go copy Sanctuary Warden here. Okay. Um, yep. I mean, they're already at twenty-six. What else is uh, thirteen more life? I guess. Tag counter. Jeez, more lands. Yep, looking like that's it, boys. I'm just doing some quick math in my head. I could block both these, don't take anything. 10 and 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, that's lethal right there. GG's. GG's. Let's look to bounce back here. That was a, that was a rough one. 
That was rough. Let's go, boys. All right, boys. Welcome back. Game number three. About to see if we can bounce back from that uh, that pretty nasty loss there. Um, I mean, yeah, sounds great. Hands great. Can't complain about a turn two of Braden to a turn three fable. I'll keep that every day of the week. Ooh, and toss on a scrapwork mutt. Mangy mutt. When is the next uh, the next arena open? I've been thinking about. I should actually look that up. I'm such a sucker. I always forget when the arena that the arena open even exists. And then I like like the day of the tournament. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that seems fun. I should have probably knew about that before, so I could have planned for it. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably like a shitty format, like alchemy or something next though, but. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Um, I have kind of a choice here. Do I want to go mud or do I want to go braid? I think abrading that sooner rather than later is probably pretty good. Looks like we're playing against mono white as well. Mono white's a pretty solid standard option, if I do say so myself. All right. No restoration of a ganja. Just let me drop down a fable and don't answer it. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> Another bank buster, okay. All right, turn three fable, no big deal. Speaking of no big deal, have you guys seen those uh, those new spoilers from March of the Machines, bro? Actually, looks pretty sweet. I like. I saw those first spoilers for a sec uh, from March of the Machines for the new set, and I was like, "All right, Wizards is clearly making a joke here, right? With like Thalia Gitrog Monster and like <laughs> all these like weird team up cards." Um, I think it looks pretty sweet. I I, I kind of appreciate when they try out different things. Uh, but, I mean, obviously it's just, like, lore-wise. Like, the cards are just fine. Like, they're good, you know? I'm gonna double discard some portals here. Okay, another Fable. Do I go Fable or Big Score here? Um, if I go Big Score... I'm trying to think of, like, what opens up more next turn. Like, what gets me the closest to... Uh, bringing back this portal in Uphorexia. Probably big score, I'd imagine, right? Because we can go double discard and then have mana, so then we can go scrap work mutt in to find a, uh, a five drop. Yep, that seems right. We also kind of play around... Uh, what's the white one mana spell? Lay down arms. Um, back to what I was saying. Uh, new set looks pretty sweet. I really like it when they try out different things in terms of lore when, you know, they're talking about uh, doing, like, multiple sets. I think that's something that, like, we all kind of miss in a way is the uh, the old sets that were two to three sets long and you got kind of a, you know, better understanding for the lore and whatnot. Um, but obviously, at the end of the day, the lore is not really what matters. It's more the, the card quality and how broken the cards are. But, but yeah, uh, let's go discard big score here. All right, another land, but another big score, I guess. Scrap work mutt. Flip this. All right, well, I can go Fable and big score here. Something that also is worth noting here. If I go big score and draw on a Traxa, I can just cast the Traxa off the treasure tokens, which is pretty sweet. I think I'm going to go ahead and lead on a... Uh, a scrap work mutt, just in case we find a uh, an invoke here, given we would have enough mana. And, like, we're losing some value. We're losing a little bit of value not playing, uh, like, Fable into big score here, but... I think right now we're just kind of uh, knocking on the door for an invoke justice. Alright, Sanctuary Warden's not a bad pickup. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass here and go big score. I don't really think there's any rush to get anything out here. We're under, like, you know, practically no pressure here. And we're, uh, we're kind of 
squeezing our opponent's throat here with a bunch of different on a buffer on a bunch of different angles with you know kiki jiki and uh just drawing a bunch of cards and making a ton of mana all right let's go ahead and pass here did mono get anything new besides elishnorn from phyrexia i don't think so I'm trying to think of any cards that they could have played i mean i guess they could play like the dominus or the four mana five five dude it'd be pretty sweet but i don't think they're that good I was actually like super hyped on the Dominuses. I was kind of hoping they would be a little bit more, um, a little bit more playable. But oh yeah, ossification. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, I was kind of hoping the Dominuses would see a little bit more play. But obviously, uh, the you know standard format right now is a little, little power heavy, so doesn't surprise me too much. Okay, ossification on my uh, Kiki Jiki here, sure. Do, 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 do. Attack for one here. I really don't mind blocking this. I mean, I guess it kind of, if we draw an invoke, we lose the four counters if we get portal. That's probably good enough for me to not block. Yeah. Like, this card is good, but it's pretty important to have those four counters, I think. All right, big score, discard a mutt. No dice. My turn. And there we go. <laughs> right on cue. Invoke back the portal. Boom, counters. Bada boom, bada bang. 6-5, you sack your board. Even though it's just two tokens. Um... Yep, Fable here. Tap Jetmere's Garden. And uh, we're cooking with Grease, boys. Six, put you down to 14. I am a little curious about how like how this deck would do in best of three. Um, I just like can't think of any like really, really good uh, graveyard cards right now in standard. I mean, Obviously, Graveyard Trespasser is a pretty big one. Let's see here. My Graveyard. Get back a Mutt or get their Farmhand. Guess I'll just get back this Farmhand. It's pretty good. I can make it a 3-3 lifelink. Discard two. Just going to dump these two. Wow, another Invoke. Is it a double portal time, boys? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing like double portal in the new Phyrexia to uh, really get your day going, man. Boom, 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 boom. Man, unfortunately, we're just going to kill our opponent. Actually, no, we can't kill our opponent because this doesn't have haste. Never mind. Disregard that. All right, I'm actually going to stop on my upkeep here because I upkeep and control. Don't forget, if you're playing this deck on your upkeep and you want to respond to the portal trigger, I think you have to go full control, which kind of sucks. I'm just going to go full control now, see if it holds it. Temporary lockdown, sure. All right, well, the show goes on here, I guess. Control, 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 control. All right, there we go. Now we're on full control. Now we can do this. <laughs> so stupid the way that arena works in that way. All right, big score, discard that, draw two more lands. Draw on a braid. Man. Unfortunately, we're just going to win here with the Braid, I think. We still haven't gotten a Traxa in play. We'll speak of the devil here. We still haven't even gotten a Traxa in play yet. All right. All right, a Braid. I'm no fun. 
take a W and run here. Oh yeah, baby. Two and one. Let's see if we can go for three for one. Let's see, not three for one. Let's see if we can go three and one, baby. Three and one. One more game before we uh, send you on your way here, boys. Let's go. All right, boys, welcome back to the rubber match, the last game of the day, the most important game of the day, if you will. Uh, on the play here, yeah, I'll keep this. I'll keep this, sure. Bitter Reunion is a card that I was kind of skeptical on. There's definitely some other things you could play. I've seen lists with the new Nahiri. I've seen lists with Tormenting Voice. I really like the, the flexibility that Bitter Reunion gives you in that, you know, obviously you can go, like, Turn two, Bitter Reunion, like, Fable, get back something, then next turn, like, reanimate again, then get, you know, give your creatures haste or whatever. It's pretty solid. Maybe I should have went uh, Reunion here instead, just because we draw two, but I want to get that 2-1 Mutt and play for some beatdowns, baby. But yeah, also, like, one mana give your creatures haste is pretty, uh, pretty cost-effective. All right, jam for two here. All right, turn three Fable. Things are going to according as plan. Man, who would have thought we'd be playing Scrapwork Mutt in Standard? Not me. Tell you what. Soul Partition. Remember when everybody thought this card was going to be the next, uh, the next Swords? Just a little bit too expensive at two mana. All right, discard two, discard portal, and um, I guess big score. Yeah, I guess big score. I like keeping some cheaper options in my hand. All right, play a forge here, jam for two. Do I want to go fable or big score? Getting down fable is pretty decent here. Next turn, they're going to go get back a land, most likely, with their, uh, their restoration. If I go portal, I guarantee that I get to play. Uh, I guarantee that I get to play Sanctuary Ward next turn, so I think that's probably good enough. Uh, good enough of a reason to go big score here. All right, I'll go pass here. Also, kind of uh, keeps our opponent guessing here. All right, so it looks like they're playing like a black white mid range deck. They probably have cards like Invoke Despair, Shield Rid, and whatnot. Ooh, Edgar. It's been a minute since Edgar saw playing standard. Remember when this card is super good in standard. Alright, big score here. Discard Bitter Reunion, the card that I've been piping up so much. Just to get discarded to big score, but... <laughs> to be fair, big score is quite good. Ooh, scrap work mutt, not bad. Okay, next turn, this is going to be a 3-4. Alright, Sanctuary Warden it is. Sanctuary Warden is like the perfect card against Evoke Despair. Just does so much. Although Invoke would actually still be quite good here because we'd have to sacrifice our Kiki Jiki. No attacks here. Wedding announcement, sure. Okay, Jetmere's Garden. So they didn't kill my Kikijiki or my Sanctuary Warden, which kind of makes me want to go for this. Is there any two mana exile thing? I mean, obviously, Soul Partition, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm actually just going to play this super slow. I'm just going to go attacks here. There's really no reason for me to go copy this before combat. We're already winning this game, having the Kiki-Jiki in play. And we're just going to go two, three mana value enchantments into copy this. No real reason to expose myself to another soul partition or something like that. 
even though I think they might have used it before, um, they probably would have used it on their turn. But it'll be safe than sorry here. Especially when we're in such a uh, such a favorable scenario. All right, and like this is going to be like basically lethal next turn if I get to copy this anyway. So let's go restoration here, fetch us up a land. Fable still hold up reflection to Kikijiki. I guess something that we also could have thought of putting in our deck is uh, Spirited Companion over Scrapwork Mutt to uh, kind of keep the card flow going. But Mutt's, Mutt's ability to be able to discard uh, big things I think is pretty important. All right, pass here. Yep, they're going to activate their Bank Buster. Ambitious farmhand, okay. They could be playing right to Oblivion, too. That card's pretty solid right now. Been seeing some good play. Man, this attack screams a board wipe here. Hmm. I mean, there's really no reason for me to get greedy here. All right, I'll just go chump here. Chump at the 1-1, one, one, take three. Big deal. Okay, I'll go respond to the wedding announcement and go for this. Do, 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 do. Nice. Remove a counter there. Ooh, baby. Let me get an Atraxa in play. I haven't played an Atraxa this whole video. <laughs> We've just been crushing our opponents the old-fashioned way. I'm actually just going to discard this Atraxa here. Atraxa, Jet Mirrors. Actually, no. Alright, we gotta discard this mud here to this uh, restoration. Ooh, we could actually got bitter reunion as well. That probably was better, right? Yeah, that was definitely better. All right, dis discard Atraxa. Discard these two. I guess it doesn't even have to be that. Let's discard these two. Man, I really want to cast the Traxa, bro. All right, bitter reunion here. Discard my Jetmere's Garden. Give me a reanimator. Man, that's a bummer. <laughs> Not really a bummer, but <sighs> I guess I'll just win this way. Brutal. Really wanted to get an Traxa in for the boys. For the boys back home. Guess we're just gonna have to win with these Sanctuary Wardens. Guess we're just gonna have to win that way. You know what, boys? The lesson today is sometimes it doesn't have to be pretty. A W is a W either way you put it, man. So, you guys know what time it is. Have a good rest of your day. Drop a like, subscribe, and as always, check out my socials down below so you don't miss any more fire content. Uh, let's see, this video is coming out Saturday. Should be a new video coming next Wednesday, boys. Next Wednesday, stay on the tune. Stay up to date on all my socials so you don't miss any more content, like I said. Let's get it, boys. Let's have a good day. Gang, gang, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.